Hello, how you guys doing today? I am back and I am filming a kind of early video. I'll explain why a little bit later. But today I am filming a 4th of July tutorial. This tutorial I think is very interesting because one, you can see my brows are kind of crazy. But like I feel like I'm doing a like classic glam type thing, like you know with the cut crease and the red lips, but instead of like a neutral color for the cut crease, I would do a blue and then a red lip, you know? So I think that all the colors that I'm wearing on my face obviously symbolize 4th of July, red, white, and blue. If you don't know what 4th of July is, that is um, the country in, the, I'm sorry, the holiday in the United States of America where we celebrate um, us becoming independent from the British. Um, it was July 4th, um, I believe 1970, whatever. I don't, I don't know, I'm not in history class. So anyways, since I am doing this two weeks before um, 4th of July actually starts, the reason why I'm doing that is because I am doing a collab in the next week, which I believe is the 4th of July week. Okay, so I'm sorry, it's one week away. 4th of July is one week away, and I am doing a collab next week with three other people. And I think you'll be excited about this. These are some of my favorite people on YouTube, but I'm not gonna tell you because it's gonna be a secret. So I'm gonna be doing a collab with three people next week. And yeah, I hope you guys will like that collab. Anyways, let's go on with the video. I hope you guys like it. See you later. First, I'm going to use my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm as a primer, and I'm going to rub a pea-sized amount into my face and let that dry. Using my LA Girl Pro Concealer Green Corrector, I'm going to be applying that onto the areas that I have redness and blend that out with a beauty blender sponge. I'm making sure not to apply too much green onto my face because that is a pigment in color, so just apply a little bit. Using the LA Girl Concealer Yellow Corrector, I'm going to be making a triangle shape underneath my eyes. Using a yellow tone corrector will help you reduce the under eye circles underneath your eyes if you are pale skinned like me. I'm now going to blend all of that out with my damp beauty blender. Using a quarter sized amount of the True Match Lumi Foundation by L'Oreal in the shade W12, I'm going to be applying a pea sized amount to my beauty blender and dab the foundation onto my face. By the way, if your color corrector is mixing in with your foundation, that's okay. Just make sure to blend it in more with your beauty blender. Because the foundation is a little bit on the dewy side, I'm going to be making it a little bit matte with my Maybelline setting powder because my face tends to get oily and lightly dust that onto my face with a Morphe buffing brush. I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain to highlight underneath my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and the sides of my mouth. Using the Morphe M460 Flat Contour Brush, I'm going to be dipping that into my Cover FX Cream Contour Kit Shade 4 and apply that to both cheekbones, my entire forehead, and both sides of my jawbone. This is what your contour and highlight should look like completely unblended. Using my Damp Beauty Blender, I'm really going to be blending all of that contour and highlight out. This is completely optional, but I'm going to be using the leftover product on my Morphe brush and just use that to define my cheekbones a little bit more. To apply blush, I'm going to be using the Rocket Tour shade from the Benefit Cheekathon palette and use the Morphe buffer brush to apply that to my cheeks. Using the sunburst shade from my Anastasia Glow Kit, I'm going to be applying that to the high points of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and the Cupid's bow using the Real Technique setting brush. I filled in my brows off camera and now I'm going to be applying the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil Shade in Milk with my Morphe 158 brush and just fill in the tail of my brow with that color. This is completely optional, but I'm going to be applying even more white to that tail of my brow so I can make the white really pigmented. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to be lining the tip of my brow with the Blue Quartz Eyeshadow from the Lower Act Mega Pro 2 palette and then filling that in. I'm going to be applying the ColourPop Shadow and Weenie to the white part of my brow. One last time, I'm going to apply the white cream eyeshadow next to the red part of my brow. Then repeat the same steps on your right or left eyebrow. Now that both eyebrows are done, I'm just going to be applying tape to the sides of my eyes. I'm going to be using the same white cream eyeshadow to my eyelid. This white is going to be my eyeshadow primer. Apply a white powder eyeshadow over it to set the cream. With the Morphe M432 flat liner brush, I'm going to be applying the shade Gonzo from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I'm going to use that brush to make a really defined cut crease. Using the Morphe E17 brush, I'm really going to blend out that blue eyeshadow. Using a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be applying the white shade to my eyelid one last time and then making sure to set that with white powder eyeshadow. Using that same Morphe flat definer brush, I'm going to be using that to line my eyes. Once you are done applying your eyeliner, you can take off that tape. I'm going to be using an eyelash curl to curl my lashes so my lashes could look even more curled when I put on mascara. I'm going to be using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara sample that I got from Sephora and I'm just going to be applying that to my lashes. I'm going to be using the shade Ruby Woo from MAC and I'm just going to be applying that onto my lips and I'm going to be pressing down hard because this is kind of an older lipstick. Taking the E19 pointed lip brush from Morph, I'm going to be using some more Ruby Woo lipstick and then apply that to the sides of my mouth. I'm going to be using some concealer just to clean up the edges of my lips. Now that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below if you liked it. Subscribe and I'll see you guys later.